Hello everybody, this is Joey with PA Fishing and Reefing, and today I got a new video for you guys. Uh, this video is going to be something quick. Um, I just wanted to give you a little update on the 45 gallon saltwater aquarium. Uh, it's doing okay. Uh, as you can see, it looks really good still. There's some new additions that you haven't seen from the last episode of my channel uh, that I will show you in a future video of a uh, fish unboxing. But uh, currently we are in this very dirty diatom brown algae phase, the ugly phase as they, they, they call it. And uh, I got some raw phosphate remover, which is right here. I put some of that in a filter sock, put that in the filtration. Uh, it's doing its job a little bit, it's killing it off. So um, I have to keep sifting the sand around to clean it and uh, using a turkey baster to uh, uh, basically pump it off the rock and then it gets sucked up into the filtration. So I take the uh, filter media out sometimes and I get a little bit of the tank water here and then I put it in a container and clean the filter media out in the tank water. Don't ever, uh, don't ever use, in my opinion, don't ever use uh, tap water to clean out your filter media. Use tank water that you take directly out of your tank because it uh, keeps the beneficial bacteria in there. And you're basically restarting your tank every time you rinse off the filter media with tap water. So you don't want to do that. Um, and I personally, I wouldn't, Unless you have an RO or RODI system, I wouldn't use clean tap water to uh, do water changes and clean your tank and everything. I would use like the gallons of distilled water that they sell at Walmart. Distilled water is uh, RO water, which is uh, reverse osmosis, which is what you're supposed to be using for this. So that also cuts back on the brown algae a little bit, helps it die off. There's my butterfly fish right there. And you can see there's another few additions in here that you might recognize type of fish. Um, and then there's something back there that I'll show you in a future video. But um, yeah, we've got the service skimmer running still. It's pretty good. Powerheads are doing their thing. A uh, little bit of water evaporation here, as you can see. I'm going to have to uh, top this off soon. I do have a uh, auto top off system that I bought, but I do not have a reservoir yet, so I can't set it up. That'll be in a future video. But uh, also today we needed some extra filtration to deal with this diatom problem. So um, I went to my local fish store here and I bought something that we kind of need now. Uh, it's a Coral Life Marine Filter with a protein skimmer added to it. And I heard mixed reviews about these. Some people say they're good, some people say they're bad, some people say they're very noisy. But uh, in my opinion, I think these are perfectly fine. I've seen videos of them working really, really well. There's some good reviews on Amazon about them, so I had to pick one up. So uh, that will be going right here next to the uh, 21 Night Crew heater right here that I have. Um, and the best part is I don't have to worry about the heater being in the way to uh, make room for the uh, filter because this has a uh, place for the heater right here, as you can see right there. So uh, this is gonna work pretty well. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up and we're gonna put this in and I will get back to you guys as soon as I have it set up in the tank and we will clean the filter media out with tank water and put it in to uh, jump start the uh, cycling of this filter. Okay guys, so I managed to uh, put it together. Uh, the protein skimmer is put together. All I had to do right here is put the airline tubing together. So I had to connect it to the main filter, put the airline tubing that connects it to the top here, to the protein skimmer, and then put the uh, filtration sponge right there. So uh, we're gonna put this in the tank. I'm gonna put some uh, Marine Land uh, bio rings in here as well to help so all right i will we'll get back to you guys as soon as i have it in the right, tank so we're getting the filter media wet with some tank water you can see the activated carbon in there and like i said i have the marine land um uh ceramic filter rings in there as well so we're gonna put our filtration in there and as you can see the heater is in there now too that way the heater's not in the way. Um, yeah. So now we're gonna put 
some water in that and then plug it in and we're gonna see how this turns out. Hopefully uh, everything turns out good. It's looking pretty good. Airline tubing's in. Everyone, the fish and everything seem happy, so we're going to uh, check this out. I'll be right back with you guys once I uh, turn and it on. There we have it, guys. We have both filters going. We have the Marineland Penguin 200 bio wheel going. And then we have our Coral Life 30 gallon aquarium filter with protein skimmer. It's running nicely now. So now we have a bunch of filtration. Now we have this filter, we have a protein skimmer, another filter, and we got a surface skimmer and two power heads. So this should be uh, enough filtration for a 45 gallon. Definitely looks good. Looks good from, from this point of view. Definitely, like I said, need to top off the water. But uh, other than that, uh, looks really, really good. Like the way it turned out. So, uh, I will keep you guys updated within a few days. And I'll get back to you as, uh, as soon as I uh, have enough time with this to tell you how it's good it's working. So, uh, see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so the Coral Life protein skimmer and filter has been running for about two weeks now. This is an update to this video. And uh, I only had to empty it about two times. And uh, it's working very good, except for the noise. The noise uh, is true to the reviews that I've seen about it uh, being loud. Uh, it's more like a white noise, so if you like white noise and like to fall asleep to white noise, this is the filter for you. But uh, I might upgrade it to a, just a regular skimmer in the future, but I do like the extra filtration because it helps. Um, eventually I'm going to push this filter to the left here, move the surface skimmer in the middle, and then keep it how it is like that. Um, but anyways, this works really, really well. I've only had to empty this twice. Uh, the, it bubbles up very nicely, as you can see right there. You can see the bubbles coming through. I just emptied it for the third time. So, uh, it's working very, very well. Uh, the brown diatom, it has been helping with the brown diatom phase uh, very well because, if you, as you can see, some of it's going away. Uh, it's still on the glass a little bit, but other than that, it's, it's doing very well. Um, there's my butterfly fish. <laughs> there's the starfish right there. Um, and the anemone. My peppermint shrimp is in here. So there he is. Wait, no. Nope. He he hides in the, the craziest places, so you probably won't see him. Um, anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. This was the review. So, yes, I do recommend this product. Uh, the only complaint I have is the noise. So, uh, definitely go check this filter out on Amazon. It's only on Amazon for $28. So, um Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it's either 28 or $34. I'll put the price up up here. Uh, so, anyways, uh, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Keep on reefing.